Hello guys, quick little video today. I will show you how you can set up your custom post types with Jet Engine and make it so that it's easy for your clients to work with them and also for yourself uh, to be able to work a little bit faster. So I have my courses here. I have a couple of them set up. They are just fi they are fictional. They are not real courses. Just to show you, let me s show me how it looks like if programming course is uh, clicked on you see there are only the these are meta fields that i've created within this post type and it's are it's only these meta fields that are available for my client as well um, because by default so they can put in a title and then they can just change these custom fields but they can't just start typing random text or, or do something with the Gutenberg editor uh, and that's something that by default is normally uh, enabled um, for example let's see if this one yeah this one is also um, so let me show you how I've done this and how it I, I will change it back so you can see how it's by default uh, how it's how it's done uh, and then I show you how you can make it so that the client only sees the fields that you've created for them so jet engine my post types I go to my courses and it's a really simple one um, you go to the advanced settings you scroll down and here by default you will see that this is also enabled the editor so you just click it away and then they will only see the field that you've put there um, if you want of course you can uh, make other things available if you want them to have uh, the ability to put in an excerpt to put in a thumbnail like a featured image uh, that's also something you can enable if you, I can also click this away the title uh, let's see how what it's doing now go back to courses add a new one and now you see I can't even put in a title so now it's only the fields so you could make a custom field that says title as well so it's all these are all controlled by you and they are all custom fields so really simple jet engine post types you create a new one or you've uh, already have one you go to the advanced settings scroll down and here you can click away or add to stuff that you want them to be able to see and edit or you can remove stuff so I often use the title but all completely up to you okay another thing you can do is within the meta fields click on one and then toggle this one quick edit support this is a really cool feature so this is uh, enabled for my starting date and also for my end date you will see quick edit support is also uh, enabled what does this do that's not something I use with clients often, but could be, but it's something I use for myself. So here's special event, programming course, whatever one I use. If I click on quick edit now, you will see I have my end date and my starting date in the quick edit support screen. So I can change my dates from here. Just have to make sure that I put a starting date and an end date that's late because they are switched in position. Yeah, and if I open it up, you will see it has already updated. So it's a little bit quicker than going to here and then on edit. Now I can just do quick edit, change the dates and, dates and click on update. So that's it for today. Hope it was helpful and thanks for watching.